NBA. I mean, these bigs bring the size and skill. Who has more tools in their toolkit? I mean, we're about to find out. Mobley outside. Back to Garland. Here's Allen. Davis with the defensive effort. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Good on the baseline, Jay. So crafty off the dribble. Russell stops on a dime and gets the separation he needs. Outside Garland. Outside Mitchell. Puts up a three. Knocks it down from distance. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. The shot no good. Good D by Mobley. Here's Cleveland. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Mitchell against Reeves. Garland with a screen on Reeves. Shot clock at six. The three from Mitchell. The Lakers with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Wade. Cleveland has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Mobley outside. Just over a minute and a half in from deep Mitchell. Davis with a rebound. The Lakers have gone one for three so far. Garland against Russell. Over Garland. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. 17-foot shot on the way. And that's good for two. That is absolutely a shot that Garland has in his back pocket. Just for moments like this. Russell to pass to Davis. Now Achimura. Pass to James. Shoots over Mobley. That one doesn't drop. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Richard, in 2024, D'Angelo Russell set the Lakers record for most three-pointers in a single season. Yes, 226 threes. Surpassing Van Exel, a record that stood for almost 20 years. Russell was also very efficient, shooting a career high on 42% of those threes. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. James with the ball, picked up by Allen. James can't get it to go. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Mitchell, rejected by James. A versatile, talented defender. Ron excels at using his athleticism and length to block so many shots. Lakers trail by eight. And here's James. Outside Reeves. Will it go? And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. Mobley, a screen on Russell. This one for three. James with the rebound. The Lakers have gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Outside Reeves. Here's Davis. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Outside Garland. Inside. Mobley passes to Mitchell. Back to Mobley. 
five on the clock. Pass to Garland. And it's all from three-point range. Lakers trail by six. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Cleveland has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Now here's Mobley. Checked by James. Mobley against James. Outside Mitchell. Mobley and screen on Reeves. Shot clock at five. Mitchell misses. Oh, he really wanted that triple. Even though he missed, I really like the competitiveness I'm seeing. It's stolen by Garland. Here's Wade, guarded by Russell. Wade, the pass to Allen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on LeBron James. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paints. He is a rare breed. Shoot two. No good on that one. Well, you talk about an anchor for this defense. Richard Jared Allen is that. It's hard to find a big man who can move and eat up space like Allen. He's a great shot blocker that can also move his feet on the perimeter and guard in isolation. But a difference maker at the rim, that is where he's at his best. And he's good on the second. Lakers trail by four. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. I was able to talk with Kenny Atkinson for a minute. He spoke about LeBron James' ability to completely control the game. They want to set the pace for themselves and make LeBron and his guys play catch-up. Coach said we have to play our brand of basketball and not worry about who's on the other side. Play our game, set the pace, and we should be all right. Back to UBA. Okay, thank you, Allie. It's that time, fans. Time Outside Reeves. It's rebounded by Cleveland. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Pass to Wade. Mobley, a screen on Achimura. Outside Mitchell. From the arc. Drops in the three. Mitchell's got nine. When you shoot hundreds of these shots in gyms by yourself, it will make you automatic just like Mitchell. Lakers trail by seven. James passes to Davis. Now here's Russell. Throws it up high. And Davis slams it home. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. Now Garland. On the wing, Wade. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Hachimura, the pass to Jane. To the middle. And finished off by Davis. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Cleveland leading by six. Outside Mitchell. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got 11. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. And I like his belief in his game. Go at the taller defender, make him react to you. 
And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Pass to Achimura. James against Mobley. Russell is green on Mobley. Here's James. Again, the Lakers score. Just a master of the mid-range. Look, LeBron James, he knows how to get to his spots and knock down the shots. Here's Wade. The three from Mitchell. Achimura with a rebound. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's James on the wing. Outside Reeves. Pass to Russell. Davis with a screen on Mitchell. The three from Russell. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Allen's got four rebounds now. The Cavaliers lead by six. Lakers five. Austin Reeves. His first. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. First free throw is good. RJ, the Cavs, breaking ground on a new practice facility set to open in 2027. Situated on the Cuyahoga River, it will be four times larger than the existing one. And let me tell you this, the existing one was state-of-the-art. And it continues to rejuvenate what we're seeing in downtown Cleveland. Shout out to the Cavaliers. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Brad, how about that in-season tournament win for the Lakers in 2024? Yeah, honestly, it just makes sense that the first of those trophies would land with a historic franchise like the Lakers. Here's Christie. Hits the trifecta. With as much defensive attention as AD gets, those passing lanes will be open for him, and those are the passes he needs to make. Now here's Garland. Here's Wade. Takes a three. Garland, no good. Russell, pass to Christie. And here's Reeves outside. And Los Angeles, another three. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. The Cavs have gone 7 of 16 so far. Levert outside. Lays out. And it's out of bounds for the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. He had the right time idea. Time just couldn't come up with the swipe. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. And Los Angeles making a change here. Hayes is checked in for Achimura. Connect comes in for Christie. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Russell. Levert outside. Thompson, a screen on Reddish. Levert goes in. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Four. He's checked in for Thompson. Substitution on the court. has possession. Pure from three-point range. That's a big make for Levert. Should help his confidence. Here's Huchifino. Guarded by Garland. To the paint. Here's Ture. Cavaliers with a rebound. Okoro outside. Pass to Garland. Shoots from 14. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Connect. Good 
Here's Huchifino. Just five to shoot. Fader on the way. Again, the Lakers. <laughs> Inside, Davis has the upper hand. His height makes getting to his shot that much easier. Now here's LeBert. Releases. And Hood Shafino pulls it down. The Lakers trail. Two minutes remaining. Has to connect. Two minutes. Here's Hood Shafino. A minute 53 left in the first quarter of the game. Ten feet away. Davis misses. It is a shame to see a high percentage look go to waste. You'll be hearing about this one in the locker room, I'm sure. And here's Nia. Fires for three. Christie with a rebound. Pass to Hood Shafino. Beyond the arc. Nice shot by Christie. Christie's got six. Ooh, can't ask for a cleaner look than that, and he'll make you pay. Nia outside. Back to Garland. Levert outside. Now here's Garland. The three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Levert outside. Pass to Garland. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Grant, when you look at Darius Garland, he has a very polished offensive game. Absolutely. He's great at creating for himself, but also knows when to get others involved. He can score from anywhere, and he works incredibly hard on his craft. The first free throw is good. And in Garland, we're looking at one of the best passers in the league, Richard. I don't think he gets enough credit for it. He's got such a great feel for the game, the way he wiggles in and out of the lane. It is so impressive. He is such a great, confident floor leader. Tyson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Mitchell comes in for Levert. Good on both. Grant, the Cavs making the playoffs the last two years. A big deal in Cleveland. Well, outside of years with LeBron on the roster, he hadn't made the postseason since 1998. But this group of Cavaliers are making their own history now. Entering the league with that James last name, lots of pressure on Bronny. But he's a guy who is used to being in the spotlight under the microscope. down the first one. A different look for Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Tyson. Laverde comes in for Okoro. And it's Merrill in for Garland. Free throws good from James. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. James against Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Banked it in off the glass. Mitchell's got 13 now. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. 
The Lakers on top, leading by one. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. Guys, what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. James is out there with Hayes. Then it's Gabe Vincent. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Christie in at the two. Now here's Hayes. Down to five on the shot clock. Hayes with a screen. From deep. That shot, no good. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. The Cavaliers are having success. Point guard Darius Garland said, we're building something here and we've come a long way. It feels amazing having our own legacy. We're just trying to keep it going. The whole city is behind us. And Brian, they know there's still work to do. And they've got no problem with that, Allie. Thank you. Now, here is James. Hayes with a screen on Thompson to the inside. And finished off by Hayes. And LeBron James will outsmart you. He will open up things for other teammates with the pick and roll. Here's Jerome. Yet to see a basket. Outside Mitchell. From downtown. Three ball. Donovan Mitchell. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. The Lakers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. James passes to Reddish. Back to James. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. The veteran smarts of James. He understands how to absorb the contact and still finish. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. You know, they've also been very effective at running the floor. Just a ton of points in the fast break. It's been a big part of their success. And the league is cut down on back-to-backs, but some pushback for a surprising reason. Richard teams need multiple days off in order to practice. Yeah, that's right. With only one day off between games, teams don't usually practice on those off days. It's not as simple as it looks. Now here's Mitchell. 16 points for him. Thompson with a screen. Puts up a deep three. They get it back. Goes back up. Back to Nia. Pass to Mitchell. Again, the miss by Mitchell. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Christie passes to James. LeBron attacks. Oh, 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 what a jam! Incredible Whoa. thunder finish! I haven't seen anything like that in a minute. Wow. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Levert goes against Reddish. Outside Mitchell. Launches a three. It's Hayes with the rebound. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Here's Christie. Again, the Lakers. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Now here's LeBert to end the run. And it's finished off by Thompson as he lays it in. Thompson's got his first points of the night. A Swiss Army knife talent. LeBert is very skilled at setting the table for his teammates. A three, James. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Mitchell, the pass to Nia. 
Porter with it. Outside Mitchell. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. And now it's just a two-point Los Angeles lead. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Pass to Hayes. Here's James. James finds a runway and gets airborne. Okay, King James. Look, there is no stopping Braun when he gets on the balance. Here's Porter. Here's Mitchell. Back to Porter. Outside Mitchell. Five to shoot. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Christie. There's the triple. Porter pulls it in. The Cavaliers trail by four. And here's Levert. There's the three. Outside for Mitchell. The three is up. Niang, a screen. Launches it. And that one's good. Mitchell for three. Mitchell's got nine points now in the quarter. Right now, this is what you want to see. Mitchell playing without hesitation and just taking quality shots. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Cavaliers shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. And here's Levert for three. And the Cavaliers! Loading up to stop Mitchell can lead to big breakdowns defensively. And James has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by two. Pass to Christie. 4-3. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got five rebounds tonight. Porter looks it over. Mitchell up top. Back to Porter. Just five on the clock. No good from outside. The Lakers have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Reddish finds James. Pass to Hayes. Here's Vincent. Jacks up a three. Down low. Here's Hayes. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there. Couldn't get it to go. RJ, it's hard not to wonder what would have happened if the Lakers never traded for Russell Westbrook back in 2021. Well, they would have had a traditional style of a team. They would have kept Kuzma, KCP, and their 2021 first-round pick. They also would have been able to sign Alex Caruso. They could have kept their championship core together. Yeah, that one's good. Vincent. Vincent's got his first points of the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Porter with it. He's scoreless. Thompson with a screen. On the wing, Mitchell takes the three. Drains the triple. Whether he's initiating the offense or playing off the ball, Mitchell is equally effective. Here's James. Nine points in the game. Drives to the hoop. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. 
Well, the recent success of the Cavs has centered around their defense, RJ. Well, if you want a chance to contend, you're going to have to be able to defend. Their coach embodies that, and so does their personnel, specifically their front court. First one falls. You know, Grant, after losing in the first round last season, it felt like changes were inevitable for the Lakers. Yeah, making the playoffs isn't enough for that franchise. They are all about championship success, and anything short of that is a failure. And Los Angeles making a change here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. Austin Reeves is checked in for Christie. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. He does not get the second one. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. And he's going for the lob. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Here's Wade. Checked by James. Pass to Garland. It. Now two of seven on the night. Oh, going inside and fighting for the bucket. That's what you want. You want a person that's going to fight for those inches. Hachimura pass to Russell. James deciding where to go with it. Pass to Davis. Just five to shoot. From behind the arc. That one's good from James on the assist by Davis. James has got 11 points in the quarter. When you're guarding LeBron, you have to give him something. So the King, well, he'll take a three-point basket. Garland with a screen on Reeves. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Stolen by Russell. Reeves finds James. Outside Russell. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Russell's got his third bucket of the night. The aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. The Cavs trailing. Outside Mitchell. Mobley on a screen. To the inside. It's tipped. Mitchell, the pass to Wade. And here's Allen. Checked by Davis. Back to Wade. Pass to Mitchell. Fires the three. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Hachimura. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Richard, it's nice to have the versatility of a guy like Hachimura. Equally comfortable at either forward position. Well, he's got the size and strength of a modern-day NBA power forward, but he also has the ability to stretch the floor and knock down a three. That's a nice combo. Free throw good. Hachimura. Merrill, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Connects checked in for the Lakers. Makes one or two that time. And it's Garland with a ball for Cleveland. And there's the lob. And it's Allen who slams it home. Allen. Making full Dude, use of that reach. Yes. Allen able to pluck the ball out of the air for that easy lob. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Now here's Hachimura. Pass to Reeves. Now Russell. The floater. Oh, missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. The Cavaliers shooting 40% from the field in this one. Now Merrill. 
Allen with a screen on Russell. Here's Merrill. And a miss there on the triple. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Mobley against Russell. Pass to Reeves. Over Garland. The shot by Reeves, no good. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Merrill outside. Allen a screen. Inside. Stolen by Davis. There's 53 seconds left in the second period. The three from Russell. And the three-pointer goes. Russell. Russell's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, in the pick and roll, you have to account for Russell. He's looking to score. Merrill passes to Garland. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Cleveland shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. That's good from Garland. And I love watching Garland mature into a leader. And you know what? He is not done yet. It's both from the stripe. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Outside Reeves. Hachimura left side. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Allen. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Well, okay. Well, I like his aggressiveness, but like the defense was waiting on him that time. Out of bounds. It'll be Lakers ball. Like, like what? Like what is going on right now? And here's Russell. He's got 10. Outside Reeves. Pass to connect. Just three on the clock. Davis. Great D that time from Allen. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. we've got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game what a game we're seeing from donovan mitchell through the first two quarters he's been on fire explosive offensive performance if they don't change their approach in the second half eh, let's just say his success will continue Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. At the 4 and the 5, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. Garland and Mitchell, the talented 1 and 2. And it's Wade in at the 3. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Nice work to rise up and secure that. Is solid rebounding effort from him. Pass 
to Mitchell. Over Reeves. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Lakers in the lead. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian Donovan Mitchell wears number 45 because that was Michael Jordan's number when he played baseball. Mitchell's father was a pro player, and Donovan said, baseball was my sport. I had my mind made up. I wanted to make the majors, but in high school, a broken wrist on the diamond caused his focus to shift. Brian, I'd say it worked out. Yeah, I'd say so. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Garland. Wade, the pass to Allen. On the wing, Wade. Achimura covering. Six to shoot for the lead. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got eight rebounds in the game. Russell against Garland. Davis, the pass to James. Hachimura outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists in the game. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Back to Garland. Mobley outside. Here's Mitchell. Cleveland again missing. Los Angeles leading by four. Russell deciding where to go with it. To the middle. James finds Achimura. Let's the three fly. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got six rebounds here tonight. Mitchell gets a step. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. The length of Mobley is that's what's challenging for many defenders, which is why you pretty much resort to fouling. It's his first trip to the line. off one look at Evan Mobley and you can see he is built for this position the height the length he's got all the physical gifts that a power forward could ask for so we can't get either to fall Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Davis. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Over his career, Anthony Davis has averaged 24 points, 10 rebounds, and two blocks. Those are career numbers, Richard. It's a very short list of players who have done that. Single digit. Pair his scoring with his defensive abilities, and you've got a problem. One shot. Free throw, good from Davis. Despite entering his 30s, Anthony Davis is not slowing down, Graham. Yeah, B.A. And last year, A.B. put up the best rebounding numbers of his career. And his shooting percentage also very high. And just watching him, Davis is still an all-NBA caliber player, capable of taking over on both ends. Now here's Russell. Ten points for him. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Pulls it. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Russell's got 12 points. Possessing a shoot-first mindset. In terms of scoring, Russell's arsenal impressive. Allen with a screen on Reeves. Here's Mitchell. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. Mitchell's got five points now in the quarter. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. James, outside. Hachimura outside. Off the mark there with a three. 
He just keeps firing from distance. I know he's trying to heat up, but at what cost? Pass to Wade. They set the screen. Mitchell with the ball. Let's it go from deep. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And there's Reeves. That one's good on the assist from Hachimura. He's got seven. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Cavaliers trail by six. Now Garland. Give him eight. Allen with a screen on Russell. Garland to three. Knocks down the long J. The quick thinking of Garland in the pick and roll. His decision making is so impressive. Now here's Russell. 12 points for him. James outside. James double team. Hachimura, the pass to Russell. Over Garland. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. For Cleveland, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. And Allen gets it to go. Fantastic work from Allen taking the contact on the chin, firing in the shot. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. James finds Achimura. Back to James. Davis with a screen on Mobley. Puts it up. Cash money on the open jump shot. James has got 15 points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Mitchell. Give him 30. Outside Reeves. Yes! And the foul! Defensive foul. That one on Mitchell. I just love when teams make it work down low. And as defenses have adjusted to Austin Reeves scoring, Richard, he's countered with the pass. Austin Reeves doesn't get enough credit for how good his handle is, how much it's improved. It's allowed for him to score, get into different places, and make these passes. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Timeout, timeout. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He's going right. to talk it over with his guys. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Let's give it up for your pass. Power. And Cleveland making a change here. Coro's checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Connects checked in for Reeves. Pass to Wade. inside. Davis on him. Allen pass to Wade. Now Garland. Clock at six. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Davis has got rebound number 11. Here's Hachimura. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. Bad offense against bad defense. The play looked as ugly as you'd imagine. Pass to Garland. And he lobs it up to the rim. Stolen by Davis. Takes a 13-footer. Russell, that's good. Russell. Russell's got 14 points. Yeah, some guys just have a feel for how to score the ball. Russell is firmly in that group. Now Allen. Allen a screen. The three from Mitchell. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. James has got eight rebounds in the game to the paint. Here's Davis. Ooh, Davis with the athleticism. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. 
The Cavaliers trail by 10. Pass to Wade to stop the run. And the pass gets good. Off the assist from Garland. Seven points in the game. Getting better at recognizing when his teammates are open. Garland, great time right there. Oh, got a piece of it. Okoro outside. To the middle. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. And this is why you feed the big fella Allen on the inside. With his size, he is a major threat anywhere around that hoop. James passes to Russell. Russell, double team. On the wing, Achimura. Russell finds Achimura. Garland against Russell. Five on the clock. Down low. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Great work by Davis in the screen roll. Good at making himself a big target in these situations. Cleveland has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Outside Mitchell to the drive. And we know Donovan Mitchell is a superb scorer. But Graham, what do you think he's focused on at this point of his career? Well, B.A., it's all about championships for him. This is a guy that doesn't just want to be seen as an elite player. He really wants to compete for titles, too. And he makes a first. And Richard, thinking about Donovan Mitchell, he just has a total impact on the game. It's crazy to think that he's in the prime of his career, but every single year he continues to get better. I still think there are more levels for him to go. And Cleveland making a change here. Thor's checked in. Both free throws good for Mitchell. We talked about the guys who play bigger than their listed size, and Donovan Mitchell is at the top of that list. Russell against Garland. Here's the three, and Russell with the three. Russell. Russell's got seven points here in the quarter. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Wade, pass to Okoro. Here's Thor. Back to Okoro. Stolen by Davis. Here's Russell. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Outside Garland. Crosses over. Rebound Anthony Davis. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Huchifino. Still no points. Pass to Russell. Davis, a screen. Again, Russell missing. The Cavaliers trail by eight. On the wing, Mitchell. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got six assists here tonight. Garland against Russell. And here's Davis. Davis drawing the double team. Pass to Huchifino. Hey, puts up a three. The rebound by Garland. Garland's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Mitchell, guarded by Russell. Outside Mitchell. Up and over Russell. And too long on the shot. Two minutes, three minutes. The Lakers lead by five. Two minutes. Inside, it's picked off. Right side, Garland uses the glass on the layup. Garland's got five points in the quarter. When you give Garland these looks, oh, he's going to find ways to capitalize. But I love his aggressiveness. Russell with the ball. 17 points in the game. Pass to Huchifino. A screen to the inside. A low block shot. 
And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw fouls. And we've seen that free throw attempt number skyrocket. And this will be a second trip to the free throw line. Shoot two. That free throw good from Davis. I'm not sure we've seen someone like AD before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a unique talent. Free throws good from Davis. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Pass to Thompson. Here's Tyson. Thompson, a screen on Davis. Back to Thompson. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. A minute six left to play in the third quarter. James passes to Vincent. Back to James. Vincent outside. The three. The shot's good on the assist by James. Vincent's got five now. And how about Wani dropping a dime? And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. Mitchell's checked in for Cleveland. Jerome comes in for Garland. Substitution for your Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell. Ty Jerome. The Cavaliers trail by six. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Jerome passes to Mitchell. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. The Lakers lead by six. Down low. Here's Coloco. And he banks in the layup. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Mitchell against James. Now here's Mitchell. The D's right on him. The free ball. They get it again. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. And so it's Los Angeles finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And so in the game for the Lakers, they've got James. And it's Hood Shafino in at the one. Mitchell misses. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Here's Hood Shafino. And it's Thor with a rebound. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Jerome attacking. Mitchell has to Thor. Another shot. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. 
Mitchell's got three assists tonight. Sees his man, threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Here's Huchifino. James, outside. Double team on James. Here's Lewis. No luck on that one. The Cavaliers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Jerome. And there's the drive. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Jerome's gotten his first bucket of the night. The Lakers lead by four. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. The three, James. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Cleveland. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Got a hand on it. Here's Lewis. And it's Thor with a rebound. Thor's got four rebounds now. Left side, Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. He's had that move saved up for a minute. You could tell with that smile on his face. Mitchell making the most of that opportunity. And here's James. And so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. Checked in for Thor. Niang comes in for Tyson. And it's Merrill in for Jerome. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Hayes is checked in for Coloco. Reddish comes in for Lewis. Christie's checked in for James. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Hood Shafino. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what J.J. Reddick was going over with his team. This might be a close late game, but don't tell coach they were cool as a cucumber in the huddle, and I think that resonates with their players. We'll see if that approach works. Brian? Allie, thank you. When LeBron is being aggressive on offense, you've got to make a change. You can't let him just have his way. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Let's find out the news on Darius Garland. Allie, what's the update? The head athletic trainer for Cleveland provided some info for us. The initial reports are saying that this is a serious injury and that he'll likely miss significant playing time. Okay, Allie, thank you. Boy, this injury definitely looks like it could be serious, guys. Uh, here's hoping it's not, but yeah, this team may have to get used to playing without him for a bit. And you just hate to see any injury, but potentially a serious one like this breaks your heart. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw is good from Russell. Both free throws good for Russell. Cavaliers trail by six. Reddish covering. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. The three from Mitchell. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Outside Reddish. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. The defense tightens up, so he adjusts. Nice play. The Cavaliers have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Niang a screen. From deep, Mitchell. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. 
will be a unbelievable. Russell from outside. The shot comes out. Cleveland has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Mitchell with the ball. Russell covering. Russell against Mitchell. Up and over Russell. And it's Mitchell. The miss. Los Angeles leading by five. To the wing on the left. Pass to Hayes. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cavaliers ball. Garris Levert's checked in for Cleveland. Coloco, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Lewis comes in for Reddish. The Cavaliers have gone four for ten in the fourth. Levert, left side. Liang, outside. Six to shoot. Elbow shot on the way. Cleveland again missing. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Sinks it from distance. Russell's got 12 points here in the second half. Yeah, a high-profile score since high school. I mean, you have to be impressed with Russell's ability to generate points. Niang a screen. Here's Merrill. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Left side, Russell. Second shot opportunity. The Cavaliers pull it in. Now Merrill. Lots of room. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Niang's got his first two points of the night. With the assist. Now here's Russell, covered by Merrill. Russell, that's good. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Now here's Merrill. Mitchell, a screen on Russell. Now here's Merrill. Tight defense on him. Shot clock at five. Inside. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell bullies his way inside. It is not an easy thing to body up to Mitchell. He is built like an absolute brick. To the paint. Here's Coloco. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. The Cavaliers have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Levert with the ball. Pass to Wade. The three is up. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. James has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Russell. Ooh, solid defense from Mitchell. The Cavs trailing. Here's Levert. LeBron with the rebound. James has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Los Angeles? Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Well, another major factor in the offensive performance was the fast break. Converting on those chances when they get them tonight. And the free throw, no good. Cavaliers trail by 10. Pass to Mitchell. No good with a layup. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. James inside. Allen defending. Hard to protect your shot from Mobley's length. Look, he just bats that ball away. From Pete Mitchell. 
Davis with a rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Russell, the pass to Jane. Knocks it loose. Fast break, Cleveland. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. In the open floor, very few people can stay with Mitchell. So it's Los Angeles now. Eight-point game. Here's James. Davis with a screen on Mobley. Shoots. The Lakers with another miss. Well, Cleveland shooting just 37% since the fourth quarter got started. Russell against Garland. Mobley a screen on Russell to the middle. And Mobley throws it down. Look at Garland drawing the defense's attention just to give it away. And James has got the ball here for the Lakers. Six-point lead. Garland against Russell. Oh, there's the alley! Allen can't get it to go. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Spins. Here's Russell. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one's on Darius Garland. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Hachimura has checked in for Lewis. Free throws good for Russell. And here's Garland. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Mobley, no good. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Russell to pass to Jane. And stolen by Mobley. And now the Cavaliers on the break. And the shot is good by Garland. Such explosive athleticism in transition. Garland gets the pass and takes off. And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. Coach clearly has something he wants to say to his team right now. And please give a big round of applause for your Cavalier New Dance team. Los Angeles leading by six. Outside Reeves. Back to James. Over Mobley. And there's James on the assist by Reeves. James has gotten four this quarter. The minute that man walks into the gym, LeBron James is in his ring. Mitchell against Reeves. Shoots from the right block. Mitchell, good. Mitchell's got 46. The Lakers shooting 41% here in the fourth. Pass to James. Garland against Two Russell. In the game. Two minutes. Outside Davis. Out to the right wing. Four on the clock. The shot by Russell. No good. The Cavaliers trail by six. Here's Wade. Outside Garland. Allen with a screen on Russell. This is the jumper. Garland's got five shots and 13 tries. Down low. James can't get it to go. 
Well, the Cavaliers shooting right around 40% since the beginning of the fourth quarter. Wow, the concentration by Mitchell. Oh, Donovan Mitchell, huge bucket. That man is fearless. Now James. Double team on James. Good D by Mobley. And the Cavs with possession. Here's Mitchell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Weaving his way around. Mitchell tough to guard anywhere on the floor with his skill. the first one and that narrows the lead down to just three and that's good as he hits both shots in a tight game he is exactly who he wanted at the line. And James has got the ball here for Los Angeles. Money! Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. And we've got a timeout called by Kenny Atkinson. And Coach didn't want to take any chances in this situation, which is why he called the T.O. quickness Donovan. it takes smart Mitchell. to run it and this was Portland. already coming down to the wire but poor ball control and some fast hands have raised the stakes oh deflected stolen by Mobley and the game isn't over yet but they have to move quickly yeah they need to focus on scoring every possession and not turning over the ball and we've got a timeout called by J.J. Redick and a great call on his part this is the time you want to be in sync right here. Seconds left in the fourth quarter here. James inside. Mobley's on him. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be Evan Mobley. Okay. Ryan with the big boy moves. Look, he just absorbs the foul. Still getting the shot. Doesn't even feel it. Clutch free throw. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. It wasn't perfect, but it was enough to get 
from the lead. And we've got a timeout call by Kenny Atkinson. The pressure is on, and he's got a plan to share with his guys. Obviously, not a lot of time to work with. What do you guys think we're going to see? It's always interesting to see what a player coach has saved for a situation like this. If they've got a surefire, quick bucket play, uh, let's just say now's the time to use it. A critical possession with time winding down. Yep, this is their moment. From deep, Mitchell. Hachimura with a rebound. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Wow, doing all he can to give them the edge, pulling their lead out to three points. Fires from deep. And buries it from deep! Here's James. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last minute shot is offline. Time expires. We're going to overtime. And we'll return shortly. as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this game. Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. At the four and the five, the lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen. And it's Wade in at the small forward position. Well, he's not the tallest guy on the roster, but man, can he pull the right? Pass to Mobley. To the paint. It's stolen by James. Out on his own on the break. Pushing it up now. Oh, rejected by Allen. Allen with the range and the link to block shots anywhere on the floor. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. his pocket now here's Garland to the inside it's stolen by James outside Russell Reeves against Mitchell shot from 12 and again the Lakers no good an opportunity now to retake the lead. Showing off their intensity these last few minutes. Kept alive. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. Four quarters, not enough. We're just over a minute into overtime now. Outside Reeves. Hachimura outside. Pass to Davis. And Davis gets double teamed. Russell finds Reeves. Six on the shot clock. The shot by Russell, no good. The Cavaliers leading. Here's Mitchell. Yet another bucket. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Outside Russell. Hachimura outside. Davis down low. Allen defending. And 
Once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. The Cavaliers lead by four. Here's Wade, back to Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Reeves. From deep, Mitchell. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got four rebounds now. Garland comes with the double team. Hachimura outside. Pass to Jane. Outside Russell. Three-pointer. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Russell's got 29 points. Overtime basketball, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're just over two and a half minutes in. Here's Wade. Hachimura covering. Now here's Mitchell. Back to Wade. For three. Connects from downtown. And the Cavaliers lead by four. And it's even more satisfying when you answer with a three, and it looks like they're putting the game out of reach. The Lakers have gone cold here in OT. Just one for six. Davis with a screen on Garland. Here's James. Ooh, hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. 24 points for him. I'm sorry, just who else would you want it shooting there? LeBron James, just so calm under pressure. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. Just under three and a half minutes played. An extra time here. Rebound, Anthony Davis. The Lakers have gotten just two of seven attempts to fall here at OT. Inside. And that one is stuffed right through. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. From the strike. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Mitchell's got 56 in the game. James with the ball. Anthony Davis going up top. In the clutch, Davis just showing supreme focus. When his team needs him, that's when he shows up the most. Cleveland has gone one of two from three-point range since regulation. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And you have to try to make something happen. I mean, they have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. Sinks the clutch free throw. And so both free throws good. And it's a two point ball game. Huge free throws right there. He's able to put them on top with those makes. And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. There is a lot on the line. And he is determined to make sure everyone's on the same page. Cleveland. 
It's all come down to this one critical possession. And B.A., you can feel the intensity in this arena. And the game has come down to this. They need a score or you can practically call it quits. Russell finds James. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, so you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. Critical moment here. He's not taking any chances. What do you think is going to be their best move at this point? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. Russell, Hachimura outside, reads the pass to Davis. Outside Russell, let's go with a three. No good from three-point range. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. So the first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a five-point game. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. And here's Reeves outside. Oh, the trifecta! And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. Great time to call his guys into the huddle at a very tense moment in this game. at the line and it's a four-point ball game and here's James can't connect from long distance it's 
never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, but I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. And so the big win by Cleveland in a tight game. They escaped with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.